Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video we're going to be answering a question that was posted on my last video. This is a question specifically regarding how I do my zoom in effects. He's asking how I make the motion blur occur whenever I zoom in. So as you see, when I zoomed into this comment right here, there was a bit of a motion blur whenever I zoomed in. And he was asking if there's a specific way to do this within Adobe After Effects. And yes, there is, and today I'm going to show you how. Now, specifically for my tutorials, whenever I zoom in, you guys notice that I put in a motion blur and I don't do this with an After Effects. I use the built-in preset that's built into my screen recording software because my screen recording software, which is ScreenFlow, allows me to add in a motion blur whenever I'm exporting. So that is where the motion blur from my videos come from. But today I'm going to show you how specifically to do that within Adobe After Effects. So this is going to be using some similar basic animation techniques that you can find in Adobe After Effects. And if you guys need help understanding the basics of animation and the basics of movement within an After Effects, I've made a tutorial about that in the past, which you can visit by clicking the link on the screen right now, and that will take you to an in-depth tutorial on the basics of motion and movement within After Effects. Now, specifically to answer his question, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this little screencast that I have here, and we're simply going to basically be zooming in and making it blur with motion. So as you could see there, when I was zooming in right there, I was kind of had a little bit of a motion blur to it. And I think I'll play that video for you guys in full screen just to show you guys the full effect in action. So as you can see here, it's quite simple. All it did was blur when it zoomed in. So we're gonna show you the basics of doing that within After Effects. So here's the composition that I put together beforehand. And as you notice, I have four layers down here in the bottom. I have one layer down here, which I've conveniently layered original and no blur. And as you can see, it takes up the entire timeline. And so this is going to be just the original basis of our clip right here and then as you can see I have one different layer for each different zoom in effect and we're going to show you the importance of that in a bit. So for the moment I'm just going to create a new composition and hold on I think I made that composition way too long. Yeah I made it a five minute composition that's not cool so I'll just make it a 36 second composition and I'm going to drag in my screen recording into the composition right around here and as you see, if I play through it, it's just me scrolling through my iTunes library, and then I'm going to this album that I want to show off because it's an amazing album. And let's say I want to highlight the tracks on the album because it's such an amazing album that you guys should totally listen to, and I want you guys to see some of my favorite tracks on it. It's just a hypothetical situation, but still, all I'm saying, great album. Let's zoom in on it. So in order to zoom in on it and add in the motion blur, what I'd like to do is I'd like to duplicate the layer so that we don't have all of the zoom effects acting on one layer. The reason for this being what we're going to do is we're going to add motion blur to that layer. And if we have each effect on a different layer, it allows us to control the motion blur. Because if you're using a composition that has a lot of stuff going on, there's a possibility for the motion blur to screw up the rest of your clip. And doing it on separate layers will allow you to basically take control and make less mistakes happen. So I'm going to press Command and D on a Mac or Control and D on a PC and that will duplicate the layer. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it to fit the position that I want to zoom in. So let's say I want to zoom in on this frame right here. So this is where my zoom in is going to take place. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the layer and I'm going to expand transform and I'm going to add keyframes for position and scale. What that will do is that'll add a keyframe right at the beginning when we're going to position it and then I'm gonna move my cursor to when I want the zoom in to stop and I'm gonna add in two more keyframes. Now, I'm going to increase the scale to zoom in and I'm going to increase the position to give you guys a better look at this wonderful, wonderful album right here. And basically, I'm going to put what I want in frame. So now, as you see, it starts right here, and then it zooms in like this. It starts from here, and it zooms in like this. It's quite simple. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check mark this little box right here, which adds motion blur to that specific layer. And that will essentially make it so that whenever you zoom in, you'll have motion blur. We don't have motion blur right now and we'll get to that in a bit. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick on this layer and I'm going to duplicate it again using the, oh, I duplicated it twice, my bad. We're gonna duplicate it again using the same technique there and I'm going to drag it to make sure 
that the layer, let me just zoom in a second. I'm going to make it so we drag the layer, make it so that it overlaps a bit, but not on the keyframe so that when we finally zoom out, it still stays zoomed in like that. And it stays zoomed in like that. And this layer will not have the motion blur. So let's just make sure that one doesn't have motion blur, by the way. So we zoom in on this layer and then it goes to the next layer and it just stays stationary like that. And so that's the basis of what we're going to do. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select all of these and I'm gonna press F9 on my keyboard, which will just make those ease in. That's something that I like to do personally whenever I'm zooming in. And now I'm going to turn on motion blur for the entire composition right here. And now if I just click Ram preview, we're just gonna wait for it to preview. And uh, hold on, I'm gonna just gonna cancel that for a moment and I'm just gonna Drag the preview area to around our zoom keyframes. So now let's land RAM preview. Now if we play it through, as you can see, it zooms in. And I apologize for it being a little pixelated. That's just the preview that's going on within After Effects. Whenever you actually render this out, it won't be that pixelated whenever you're zooming in. So just bear in mind with that. So. As you can see, it easily zooms in and it has a motion blur. Now, if you want it to zoom out, just make sure you do the same exact steps but reverse them. And remember to keep on separating them through layers. And I'll just go back to my previous composition to show you the importance of that right now. We have the original layer on the bottom, which does nothing. And then we have the zoom layer, which zooms in. And then we have a stationary layer, which is at the exact same position, and that layer stays there without a motion blur so that it doesn't do anything wrong with the file. And then we have another layer up here, which has the zoom out keyframes, and it zooms out. And then the layer that we're seeing now is the original on the bottom. And that is the format for the way that I have it done right now. Now, an easy way to make it zoom out, to make it so that you zoom out, is just put your keyframes where you are, and then click Reset to reset it back to just the way it was, filling up the entire frame. And that's basically it. Once you render out your entire composition, you should have your zoom in and zooms out, and they should all be motion blurred so that you get that cool, awesome motion blur effect. And it actually does make your zoom in and zoom outs look a bit more professional and it's a lot more pleasing to the eye it makes it look like you actually know what you're doing now the version that i played you guys before was just kind of a little rough render out of what i did i literally spent two seconds making that so it doesn't look as professional as it could be but once you play around with these settings to make it look the way that you want to you'll end up with some really nice zoom in and zooms out so i hope that answered your question let me just bring up his question again Ahmed X Gamer, and I apologize if I said that wrong. So I hope this answered your question, and if you have any other questions, feel free to leave so in the comment section down below. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.